undergrounding is the replacement of overhead cables providing electrical power or telecommunications with underground cables. This is typically performed for aesthetic purposes but also serves the additional significant purpose of making the power lines less susceptible to outages during high wind thunderstorms or heavy snows or ice storms. Undergrounding can increase the initial cost of electrical power transmission and distribution but may decrease operational costs over the lifetime of the cables. Underground cable faults cannot be avoided due to many factors such as aging, overloading of cables, sheath corrosion, lightning strikes and over voltage events, poor workmanship or manufacturing faults, external damages caused to cables during road widening, infrastructure improvement and digging carried out for repairs of other underground utilities, damage caused by termites or rodents. New generation cable fault locator test system from Scope is the ultimate solution for locating underground cable faults in minimum time. Scope offers full range of products required for fault detection in all types of cables including LT or HT power cables and telecom cables. It includes surge generator, pre-locator, pin pointer, audio generator, SIM filter. There are different steps that are involved in cable fault detection and repair. For each step, Scope has a solution. Scope also has an integrated cable test van which has all the equipment to detect and resolve cable faults. When a cable fault happens, the first step is to isolate the cables from the terminations. Discharging the residual charge present on the cable after switching off the line requires damped discharge for safety of cable dielectric and the system as well as the operating staff. Scope offers damp discharge rods as per voltage level of the cable. CFL DDR35 for discharging medium voltage cables up to 35 kV face to earth rating. CFL DDR132 for discharging EHV cables up to 132 kV face to earth rating. Then, diagnosis is carried out using continuity or insulation tests. Based on the test, it is decided whether it is an open circuit fault, high resistance fault, or flashing fault or a low resistance fault. If it's an open circuit fault, it is pre-located with CFL pre-locator series on TDR mode. The key features of CFL pre-locator are measuring range up to 16 km and 256 km, adjustable balance of instrument resistance to suit the cable under test, adjustable gain for optimal waveform resolution, large range of propagation velocity 50 to 300 meters per microseconds. Covers all types of cables including pilot and telecom cable with any type of insulation. Large LCD and user-friendly operation TFT display. Compact and lightweight. If it's an high resistance fault, it is pre-located with CFL pre-locator series with SFL SG on ICM mode or the fault is pre-located with CFL PL3 with CFL SG plus CFL SIMF on SIM mode. Some of the key features of CFL SG series are as follows. It can generate a surge of 16 kV to 32 kV and 500 joules to 2000 joules. It's compact and has a rugged design. Key lock switch. It has a key lock switch to prohibit operation by unauthorized person. Variac Zero Interlock HV circuit can't be energized if Variac is not at zero position. Output Plug Interlock HV circuit can't be energized if the output cable is not connected. HV Switch Interlock If the switch is not pressed properly or the selected range is changed during operation, HV circuit will trip instantly. Overheat Protection If HV transformer overheats beyond 70 degrees Celsius, the instrument will trip. Some of the key features of CFL SIMF are inbuilt power source of 1800 VDC, ARC keeping time more than or equal to 20 milliseconds, HV input maximum DC 32 kV negative, working voltage AC 220 volts plus minus 10 percent, 50 hertz plus minus 10 percent, environmental temperature 0 to 50 degrees Celsius, humidity up to 95% RH, non-condensing, dimension 380 into 280 into 460 mm, weight 15 kg and an output voltage of 1800 volts, DC negative polarity. If it's a low resistance fault, 
It is pre-located with CFL PL2 or CFL PL3 on TDR mode. After the pre-location is done, route trace can be done using CFL AG2 and CFL PP3. Key features of CFL AG2 are as follows. High audio power output, quad stabilized frequency, clean and distortion free signal output, output in 7 ranges, selectable manually or automatically, two working modes continuous and intermittent. Key features of CFL PP3 are as follows can be used for both pinpointing as well as route tracing. Both magnetic and acoustic inputs making pinpointing very convenient. Digital filters to eliminate external influences. Highly effective shielding against environmental noises. Improved acoustic signal pickup features. Water resistant and dust proof design. After route tracing is completed, exact pinpoint of the fault has to be done. This can be done using CFL SG with CFL PP3 if the pinpoint fault resistance is more than 10 ohm. If the pinpoint fault resistance is less than 10 ohm, we can use CFL AG2 with CFL PP3. After the pinpoint operation is done, excavate. Then identify faulty cable, then confirm the fault spot. Cut faulty cable at the fault spot. Perform HV test on both lengths. Repair the faulty cable and perform the post-repair HV test.